Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a review slash first impressions type video and the whole video is basically going to be about this Oval 7 brush by Artiste. Now I ordered this the other day and I am not kidding you guys. My mum was like, why did you order a spoon? Come to think of it, it does look a little bit like a spoon. First I'm going to show you the box that it came in and it looks like this. Very fancy. And then inside here, when you open the lid, you have the brush itself. It's quite a deep box. Personally, I wish it came in a smaller box that I could like travel with it. I totally understand where my mom was like, why did you order a brush? Um, but then she started to have a look at it and she was like, oh my God, it's so soft, this is amazing. And then she was like, how much was it? And I was like, well, this brush was 60 pounds. And she was like, what? Like she flipped. She was like, why did you get a brush that was 60 pounds? To be quite honest, you guys, I was not gonna order this because I am such a loyal person to my beauty blender. This one's really dirty, by the way. Every single time I use any kind of other brush to blend out my foundation, I am always left really disappointed and I always have to go back in with my beauty blender. I was hesitant ordering this, but in the end, I've just seen so many people rave about it. I was like, I need to know what the fuss is about. And it is very expensive. So I wanted to kind of like test it out on my channel for you all to see whether or not I would actually recommend this. But nevertheless, I am gonna be doing my first impressions and review on it today. So for starters, if we just look at the packaging, it is white and gold. I believe you can get it in black as well. Um, but I opted for the white and gold just because I love white and gold. It is quite sturdy. I actually thought it would be a lot heavier than this, but it's still a good weight. It probably weighs the same as your kind of standard buffing brush. When it comes to the actual brush head, it is a very, very dense and so smooth. It almost feels like a sponge in a weird way. Again, I thought it would be a lot denser than this, but maybe that's because my expectations are really high after seeing so many raving reviews about it. Who knows? Price-wise, this is very expensive at £60. I will leave links to where you can actually get these from in the information box below. I personally got mine from Netta Porter. This one in particular is the Oval 7 brush because these come in a variety of different sizes from face, cheek, eye, lip products, you name it, they've kind of got it in the range. And the reason why I got this because it fits so nicely onto my face and it's not too big that it's overpowering. It actually feels like I'm getting like a weird like massage done to my face, which is quite nice and quite soothing. Personally, I would only use this for foundation. I probably wouldn't apply my contour or anything like that with this, only because I wouldn't want to mix like foundations with too many like contoury products, especially if I'm not gonna wash this every single time I've used it once. So, with that all being said, it's time to test this bad boy out. First, I'm gonna prep my skin. I'm gonna moisturize it with my Ember Lee Cream. And for primer, I'm going with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. For foundation today, I'm gonna go in with an oldie, but a favorite of mine, and it doesn't get enough love on my channel, and that is the YSL, the Tent Touche Clap Foundation. This is the new reformulated one, so it's a bit better coverage, and it's just kind of like an amped up version of the one that they previously launched. So I'm gonna go in with this, and I think I am going to dot it on my face first, and then blend it out. So, um, I'm gonna take one pump first, Actually, I might need another pump for my uh, forehead. So I'm just taking like half a pump. I'm just adding that to the rest of my face. I'm just gonna come a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see this in action. So I'm just gonna start blending this out. So let's see how it works. Okay, this is really strange. Like it's adding like an even layer a foundation all on my face and it's so smooth I don't think I'm like blown away by it not yet anyways but wow it does make my skin look like skin which I love when it comes to like brushes okay so I've had like one hair shed or is that my own hair that might be my own hair <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to finish off the forehead. It's actually so weird how it's made my skin, like, look like skin, but it's still got the coverage there of the foundation. 
But so far there's like no kind of like brush strokes on my face. It looks very kind of smooth. And I feel like the coverage is like really even because I generally like just don't like brushes to do my foundation, but I'm quite impressed with this, you guys. Don't really think I'm impressed with the price of it. I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a close up of my skin so you can see what it looks like once all the foundation has been blended out using the Oval 7 brush. I'm actually gonna add one more pump to my face just cause I wanna see how this brush kind of holds up to when you wanna have more coverage. And this time I might just like dab it into the foundation. I just, I love the feel of it. And I feel like you really need the tiniest amount because the Beauty Blender obviously like does soak up a bit of product, whereas this is kind of like pushing everything into the areas that I want it to go in. I actually really like the way that you hold this. I think it's really comfortable. It's not like awkward. I thought it'd be quite awkward kind of like blending product into the face, but it's actually quite like nice. I'm quite impressed. Okay, so for foundation, I actually really like the way this applied the product. It has no kind of streaks on my face, which is my biggest bugbearer when it comes to using buffing brushes or any kind of like dual fiber brushes for my base. So I'm very impressed with the way that it's just made my skin still look and feel like skin, even though it does have product on it. And it's distributed all the foundation really nice and evenly. I've just realized my top lip has completely like disappeared the foundation, so I'm just gonna take that off real quick. So now that my foundation's done, I'm gonna see how this performs with concealer. So I'm gonna go in and add my usual anti-age eye rewind concealer from Maybelline, you guys know I always get the name wrong. I'm gonna twist it up and just apply it to the usual areas that I like to apply it on my face. So that's my under eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and a little bit around my mouth. I'm also gonna apply it to underneath where my contour would be. Okay, now I'm gonna try and blend all of this out with the Oval 7 brush. I just know how easy it is with my Beauty Blender, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so it is definitely blending everything out. I don't know whether I would use this to blend out my concealer on like a day-to-day -day basis only because I find it really strange going so close up underneath my eyes. Maybe I'll get used to it, who knows. It's definitely blended everything out really nice. I feel like it has dragged some of the foundation off just kind of like around my nose. It's very difficult to like not mess up the foundation work that's already been done on the base, but overall, I'm quite impressed with this. So I've just added a little bit of makeup on to my face and in case you're wondering what's on my lips, I've got Coffee Craze which is by Maybelline, it's beautiful cool toned brown and then I've also mixed a little bit of Rich and Restless which is a MAC liquid lipstick and to top everything off underneath I've got NYX Mahogany Lip Liner all over my lips. Now that I've had like a little bit of time to kind of like look at my makeup and let my kind of like thoughts sink into my brain, I really, really, really like the finish that it gives. My foundation went on so smoothly, so evenly, and I definitely felt like I needed less product on my face because it doesn't really tend to like soak up any product. It kind of just stays in like the top part of the brush and it's just kind of like moved and blended out. You cannot fault the application process of this. It's very kind of like airbrushed. I can imagine this working very, very well with a stick foundation, a cream foundation and a liquid foundation. Whereas with the Beauty Blender, I don't feel like it performs as well when you're using a stick foundation. I would like to see how this lasts when you've done like a few applications using this because I feel like it might get a little bit streaky. So I would probably say that I would have to wash this in between every three to four uses if not less. Is it worth 60 pounds? That is where my biggest kind of like bug bearer is. If this was a little bit cheaper then I'd be like yes you guys definitely need it. I think the biggest thing for me is the price. Like I don't think I will probably get any more brushes from the Artiste range only because they are very expensive and I feel like I've got so many brushes that do a great job 
that unless it's something that's like revolutionary, I'm probably not gonna go and buy. If however, you are in a major rush and you wanna get some makeup on quickly onto your face, then this is ideal. Putting your foundation on with a beauty blender does take quite a long time, especially to like blend everything in. Whereas with this, like with a few swipes on your face, you are done. Would I recommend anyone to get this? Probably not unless you wanna really treat yourself or if you're getting it as a gift to yourself or someone else. And I think this is a perfect gift for anyone who loves makeup because it is a very good tool. I wouldn't say just like don't get it. I do really, really like it, but I still love my beauty blender, I'm not gonna lie. Overall, I really like this brush, but the price is definitely very high for what it is. So yeah, that is the end of my first impressions slash review slash demo video on the RT oval seven brush please let me know if you liked this video give it a thumbs up if you did and if you would like to see any particular products or anything like that for me to review and do first impressions of next then please leave me a comment below because I would love to do more of these review chatty type videos for you all so yeah that's all for now I guess and I will see you all in my next video bye